started. Okay, great. Okay, so um, what day is today? Saturday? Friday? Friday. Is it today Friday? Boy, mm -hmm. time flies. Anyway, we're um, in New Brunswick and we're about to, to um, drive across one of the wonders of the world, the Confederation Bridge, which connects New Brunswick with Prince Edward Island. So here we go. I did take some photos of the bridge um, off to the side on my polar steps, so you may want to check out polar steps. So it says zero tolerance for uh, handheld devices, which is probably smart, but of course I'm not holding the, the, uh, the phone. My brother is, and of course he's okay to do so. Uh, maximum speed is 80 kilometers an hour, and here we go. Okay, so my brother is Mel, is joining me, and um, you know, from the bridge, you really can't, you know, see um, see a lot other than just the the bridge itself. But Mel's gonna move the camera to the right, and you'll see the Strait of Northumberland. Try and do it at a 45 degree angle so that you don't see um, a lot of uh, movement of the pillar. If you can do that. Okay, so now we can actually see, we kind of went up a little bit, and now we can actually see the other side of PEI. Whereas before, you just really couldn't see anything. So now if you move it over to the bit of the right, Mel, you can see um, Prince Edward Island. And Mel actually knows more about this bridge than I do. So Mel, what can you tell us about this bridge? Like when was it built, how much did it cost, all that kind of stuff. I have no idea how much it cost, except that it cost a lot. <laughs> it's called the Confederation Bridge, so I'm guessing, well, no, it wasn't 1967. I don't know. It's Confederation Bridge because Confederation, a lot had to do on PI. Uh, it's 14 kilometers long, and uh, I've been telling people I'm one of the only people who's actually cycled across it legally because there was an event that allowed me to do that a few years ago. And... Um, I don't know, I'm guessing 20 years, but um, Harvey will fill that as a correction um, on his blog. Okay, thanks for that, Mel. Anyway, we're getting uh, definitely closer. And um, when I was a child, there was no bridge here. There was just a ferry. And uh, I can't remember how old I was, but um, I think I was probably around five or six years old or maybe seven. Uh, when we were, we, I think we had at least one sailing weight. I mean, Mel, you were with us actually. I, I know that for sure. Well, we're going to take a ferry to get off the island. There's still a ferry. Great. And that's be and why are we taking a ferry? More direct to Nova Scotia. Okay. And is it like would it be faster than going back on the same bridge? Faster in terms of driving distance. No time. And time. I think if you time it right, you don't wait too long for the boat. Okay. Great. Anyway, in the distance there, I'm not sure if you can zoom in on it, Mel, but there's a little, like a much higher section of the bridge coming up. Yeah, we're getting there. And uh, that bridge, uh, that part of the bridge is, um, uh, I guess, there to um, allow large ships to go underneath. Is that right? Attention. I imagine. Crossing ahead. Okay. Are you getting uh, tired? Try not to, to wiggle it. Well, you need two hands. Okay, great. Anyway, see if you can put it on pause. Hit that white button and hopefully that stops it. Does it? Yeah. Okay, let's, we're just gonna turn it off right now. We'll come back with another video soon. Okay? You wanna just stop, stop it? 